Hello and welcome. Let me begin with some very familiar words of prayer. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Well, this is undoubtedly a Holy Week like none other, and certainly not the Holy Week that I was planning at the beginning of Lent. But as we move forward during these great days, our loving prayer continues very much with all who are sick and suffering, with those who've been bereaved, and with all of those who are anxious or afraid. What also continues, undoubtedly, is our deep and abiding sense of gratitude for all of those who are working on the front line and for their amazing dedication and work. We are forever thankful. But as we go forward, we're deeply conscious of how challenging these days are. For all of us in our own particular contexts, we're missing so much that we love and value. We're missing being with family and friends, with colleagues. We're missing being in our places of worship together. And so moving forward, we speak to the Lord from our hearts of that deep sense of sadness. And we know that he journeys with us. There are all kinds of images that we might find helpful in our thoughts and in our prayers. The image of exile, the people of God exiled. The image of wilderness, or the image indeed of a long Holy Saturday. But each of those remind us also that this time won't last forever. We will return, we will be together again. The people of God return from exile. The Lord returned from the wilderness and began his public ministry. Holy Saturday does give way to the glory of Easter. This time will not last forever and we will gather again. And how I long for the day when we'll gather around the altar together. When we'll be able to gather again around dining room tables and coffee tables and yes, even our committee tables. We will be together again. But as we move now into this very beautiful time, the great three days, the tridium of Maundy Thursday evening, taking us through Good Friday, Holy Saturday and into the joy of Easter. An image that I certainly will be praying with is the image you can see here behind me, one of the icons in my chapel that I often pray with. It's the image of Christ the friend. I first saw it when I went to Teze for the first time and it's a copy of a 7th century Egyptian icon and very beautiful it is, I think. It speaks powerfully of that gift of friendship, the friendship of Jesus and also reminds us of how beautiful a gift friendship is. It reminds us of those words of the Lord Jesus to his first disciples when he said to them that he called them servants no longer but friends. Words he says to each and to all of us. So one or two things just to notice in the icon that I hope might be helpful as we go through into these three great days. First notice the expression on Jesus' face, his eyes wide open, his look of mercy and love, of compassion. Notice also that he's holding the scriptures, the word of God, speaking of God's immeasurable love for us from Genesis to Revelation. And notice also the arm of Jesus stretching out and resting on the shoulder of his friend. You might notice also that that arm is unusually long and it speaks of a great truth to me. There are times for all of us in our lives when we feel very, very close to Jesus and praise God. But I and perhaps all of us also know what it's like to feel further away and this reminds us so powerfully that wherever we are the arm of Jesus the touch of Jesus will reach us and bring us back with amazing love notice the disciple here Abba Mena 
but actually it's you and it's me. And you'll notice in his hand a tiny rolled up scroll. It's the story of his life. It's the story of my life and yours. Yet to be unrolled. These challenging days have reminded us of just how vulnerable life is. So much that we've taken for granted, perhaps. None of us actually know what the future holds. None of us know what tomorrow holds. But what we do know is that Jesus Christ holds every tomorrow. And into all our tomorrows, he journeys with us. Because notice that he stands alongside his companion, his friend, and in just the same way today and tomorrow, and into every tomorrow, Jesus comes with us. He stands alongside us in solidarity, in love, in compassion and mercy. There's nowhere he won't come for love of us, and nothing he won't do for love of us. The love that takes him to the cross and beyond to the glory of the resurrection. So journeying forward through the great three days, journeying on into the joy of Easter, journeying on into all our tomorrows, let's put our roots deep into our friendship with Jesus, through our prayer and worship at home in these days, and again when we can gather, when we come together in worship. Let's put those roots deep. Let's develop our friendship with Jesus, our friendship with others, and in all things, let us know the greatest truth, that Jesus Christ is the best of friends, who will never let us down, and who walks faithfully beside us. May the Lord God richly bless you as we journey through these days and bring us to the joy of Easter. Amen.